Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. You are listening to Hometown 101.9 FM, AM 1220 WZOT. It is time now for Recreation Basketball, and let's join Jeff Holtzy and Robert Torline with Recreation Basketball. Thank you, Brian. It's good to be here today. We're at Scoggins Hall, the old Rock Martin High School. Been a lot of games played in this gym, Coach. I'm sure there has. A lot of history here. Good history. Yes. Well, today we're going to the first game. It's going to be a 9 12 girls. Coach Boykins against Coach Brownlow. We are so proud of the girls that we have this year uh, from ages 4 up through 12. We've got 54 girls playing recreation basketball. That's the most we've ever had here at Rockmore Rec Park. Yeah, and hopefully it's going to keep growing, too. And, uh, you know, we'll grow out of this gym into something else as well. And it's just a great problem to have, isn't it? It's exactly right. We, And this is just a product of our, of our programs that are ahead of us. I think the more success they have up there, the better success we have here. Yeah, most definitely. And and right now, like I said, the girls' basketball team is number one in their region at the high school level. I don't ever remember that. And uh, the boys are, too. So the programs at the high school, sounds like we got the right coaches, we got the right talent, and we got the right leadership. Yes, I agree with that. I think from all the way, all the way down and up, it's going real good. Yeah. But we're getting ready for this tip-off here, and it's a lot of fun to watch these these girls. Now, I will tell you, you know, a couple of years ago, Jeff, these girls would take and, and and run up and down the court with the ball and travel a lot. Oh yeah. These these officials have done a great job bringing that back into where we're calling more. And by the end of the season, you could tell a huge difference. Oh, girls yeah. learn a lot. Yeah, you're exactly right. I'm gonna call out a few names that we see out on the court right now. For Coach Brownlow, we're looking at number 30, uh, Maggie Garrett. Uh, number 15, looks like Emma Goodson. Number 21, Addison Shelton. And I'm looking for a few more. We'll call some more of them out here in just a minute. They've got a jump ball. Coach Boykin, he brings the ball down first. Rebound there by number 15 of Brownlow's team, Emma Goodson. Brings the ball back up for it, took away by number 10. I think I might have the wrong boy can see him on here. That's so. what I was looking at. I didn't have a 10. Yeah, I don't have a 4 either. So yeah. He coaches two teams. Okay. So, and actually, that's not Boykins. That's, uh, that's the coach, uh, uh, Will. So that could be the problem right that there. That could be a major problem. Yeah, so. But basket right there on the other end was scored by number 30 for Brownlow. That's uh, Maggie Garrett. Scored two to nothing. 7 16 left go here in the first quarter. Clock running. Borsa. That's not Coach Borsa's team. Well, we're going to take care of this. All one. right, they're coming up the court. Got a travel call against them. Maggie Garrett going to throw the ball inbound to Emma Goodson. Emma's going to bring it down the court. Emma's coming down the court, sets up the offense, swings it out to the right side, lets the ball go off her hand. That's my fault. All right. If we can. Brown will be setting up on defense. Ball goes up, rebounded there by number 15. Maggie Garrett had the ball, walked with it. Turns the ball over. That did that. And now I've got some names for the other team. We've got um, Peyton, number four, Rogers, 14. Uh, Will, which is a coach's daughter, is Isabella, 25. So right now, Peyton is going to come in and bring the ball in to Turner. Turner's got it at the top of the key, dribbling. Pass to the right to Peyton. Oh, we're going to get a three-second call, Jeff, and uh, uh, but that's okay. Going the other way. 
Emma Gookson going to bring the ball down again. Setting up their offense. Goes across the court, back over. Defense picked it up. Coach Wills' team has the ball bringing it down the court now. Looks like there was a double dribble. I'll tell you what, something else I see out here, Jeff. Some of these girls have never played basketball before. Exactly. Um, I'll give you an example. Um, you've got uh, the Addison Shelton. She's a heck of a baseball player, softball player, and uh, it's just her first year playing. Emma Emma Goodson, she's she's a really good ball player. She's never played basketball before. So we're getting new girls in this program. Exactly, and they're and they look like now they're they're starting to get the fundamental of the game. They are they're used to it, just run up and down the court. Two to nothing, Brownlow team over Coach Wheels at this moment. Nine to twelve girls is what we've got in this game. Number five, Summer Harry throws the ball into Emma Gustin. Emma's gonna set the offense up. Over to Maddie Kate Ford. Maddie Kate Ford shoots, she goes off the rim. Good save there by number twenty one, but Defensive player brings it back up the court. That's uh, a little like Ricky Inslee's dog. It is, Inslee. Yeah. Kylie Inslee, and uh, she traveled before she could stop. Her feet just didn't want to stop. Exactly. The, the kids get to running down the court. It's hard for them to <laughs> pull up in a certain spot. They, their body just needs to keep moving. Overthrows it again. Coach Will's team brings the ball, ball back down the court. Picked off by number 24. Now, four Payton is going the other way. She's dribbling all the way up. going to shoot. Oh, going to shoot. And we got a foul. Fouled. So she'll get to shoot, too. I guess since I got that team on my phone, I'll do that team. Yeah, because I don't have a clue. Yeah. I just know who some of their parents are. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do, Jeff. You've been doing this for a few years. What makes you feel old is when you get down to the younger ages, some of those parents have came through this league. Yeah, and you coached them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty neat, though, too, is they, they're giving back and, and coaching. Oh, yeah. and we'll talk to a few coaches today as well and, and let them talk about the program. Exactly. She makes the first free throws, two to one. It is a tight ball game. Sure is. You, you won't see a lot of high-scoring games here, but that's okay. These teams are pretty evenly matched. Exactly. That's the way it should be in the recreation program. Emma Goodson takes the shot, comes off. Hey, he's got the ball going the other way. For Wills' team. She's still driving down the right hand side. She throws it up. And it's yeah. good. Good shot. It, ring, it went around the ring a couple times and went straight down and in. So now it should be three to one. Three to two, right? Oh, stepped over the line. So two to two. I didn't realize you stepped on the line either. So. I didn't know it was two. ball game. Yep. There you go. Number 21 there. Number five puts it up. Maggie Garrett goes in for the rebound. Goes off her hand. These are some tall girls, too. Jeff. Yes, they are very tall. For 11 year olds. Peyton comes coming up the floor real quick at the top of the key. She's going to throw it up. A little bit too hard. Rebounded by Maddie K. Ford. Coming down the court, Maggie Garrett's guy that throws the ball up. It's off the right side of the rim. I guess we know who the point guard is for the black team. That's Peyton. Uh, we're, we're black on gold. That gets gold. So those are the two colors today. Emma Goodson gives it going the other way quickly. Emma Goodson's going to go up and, oh, just flip, push it back up. Gets her own rebound. Push the ball back up. We've got a double dribble. We've got a whole wholesale change coming in. Brownlow's changing five out, bringing five in. Now, he doesn't look mad about it either. He's all happy about the way the girls play. He's giving them all high fives. Yeah. Now there's going to be a timeout, so we're going to take a 30-second timeout along with them. 
Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. Action. We want to thank the Robinson Muffalo Shop for sponsoring today. Sure That's why we're bringing it to you here live. And, uh, you know, Jeff, everybody wants to give back. And that's pretty awesome because when you're dealing with their kids or yes, their sir. grandkids, yes. um, that's just huge. And uh, that's what makes the program go so well. Brown Lowe's team throws the ball in. We took away. Now took away by number 20, Brown Lowe's. Nigel Wheeler, saying that name right? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Stolen by Inslee. Inslee going back a three-pointer. Just, just a little shot. Just a little bit short. Brown Lowe's team bringing it down the court now. He's, he's hollering out instructions what he wants them to do. Yeah. Riley Baxter, passenger. Riley bringing the ball up court. Riley's going to pass it out to the wing. She pulls up for a three. Just a little bit short. He don't get back in his coach's box. He's going to get a set. Wow. wow. Brownlow, he's, he's, uh, he's coming all the way down here like he's on the radio. He's supposed to be back in his box. Well, he had his team lifting weights over there before the game started. Yeah. I, maybe they took three corners. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Two to two ball game, three minutes and 15 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Truly a nail biter. Well, up the floor, they're bringing it in Inslee. And they got a couple subs in, too. Shows it inside to Roger. He's going to shoot it. Up and miss. In and out. Good Riley Baxter's going to bring the ball back down the court. Riley bringing it down, setting up the offense. Riley's looking around. She's going to. Dribble goes to the left side, trying to get to the inside here. Riley passes it out. Number 14. They take a shot. Come back down with it here. Here comes Peek. She's got the ball. She's coming down hard down the middle. She's going to pull up. She's going to shoot it. Oh. Pulls it off. She can throw it. Get her own rebound. That's awesome. Turn is thrown up by Rogers, just off the front of the rim. Riley Baxter is going to bring down the rebound again. Riley playing some great defense here early on in this game. That Riley's one tough girl. I think she plays soccer and a little bit of everything. You know what? She is a little girl that I talk to every year. I've seen her grow up through this program. Yes. And I, I always look forward to see her come back. Tell her, Mama, thank you for bringing her back. Oh, yeah. She played when it was just mostly boys. Yep, you're right. She stuck with it. Inslee has the ball for Wills' team. And now Peek's going to shoot the ball off the front of the rim. Rebound is by Rogers. Puts it up. Riley brings it down for the rebound again. Bring it back up the court for the Brownlow team. And Savannah Harry. Savannah tries to get the ball over to Riley. Just overthrew her. Good idea. Just a little too far. Yeah. Recreation basketball right here in Rock Bar. We hope you're enjoying it today. Be sure to let someone know you enjoyed it. Ball's at the top of the key to Peak. Peak's going to throw it up again. It is. A little bit hard. Rogers with the rebound puts it up. Can't get it to go. Now Inslee puts it up. Dang. Oh, Riley Master with the rebound again. Huh? She's just not. Ooh, had a head on collision, but they kept the ball. Gets away from number 40, Savannah Herring. Gets the ball over to Riley. Riley puts it up. It's off the backboard. And coming the other way quickly is number 30, uh, Cheney. That's it. She puts it up. The free throw line. And oh, rim oh, just off the rim there. Rogers turns with the rebound, puts it up. Can't get it to go. Shayla gets the rebound but loses it. And there's Inslee. Puts it back in for two. So 
Good shot there by Hensley. Just pulled up to the left side. Wayne puts it in. Four to two. Clock taking away here in the first quarter. Here at the Rockmore Recreation Department. Coming from Stockton Hall. Lally bringing the ball down. Lally gets the ball inside. Stole away that time. Double dribble. Going to be Brownlow's team. Savannah Herring will be throwing the ball in, throws in to Riley. Riley's going to set up the offense. Riley dribbles around. Riley's looking to pass the ball around. She gets it into number 40. Got just a little bit short. Number 40 kept the ball good. Good play. Kept the ball inbound. Riley Masters will take a shot. Oh, no good at the buzzer. Wow. Smith. Good shot by Riley. Good job. Yeah, so we're going to take 30 seconds. We'll be right back. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039. 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. How are you? We'll give this a clip rock for a minute. All right, we're, we'll b- we're back live here to Scoggins Hall. 4-2 ball game. Fixing going to the second quarter. These young ladies played a great game so far. We are joined by Clint Brock. He is here. Uh, he, uh, his, him and his wife have coached the rec programs. And, you know, without people like you, Clint, we couldn't do this. And I know you're having a lot of fun out there. You you started out, what, soccer or basketball? Baseball, actually. We were little league. And then, then soccer and, and then went right to basketball. So. And you didn't know anything about soccer, but you've learned it. And now you're, you, you've carried that over to the kids. And that's important. And like I said, we need volunteers like you, and, and I want to thank you. Talk a little bit about it. I mean, about the programs we have here uh, that we offer these kids. Absolutely. Well, like uh, Robert said, we, we've been involved with the uh, coaching sports for, I guess, five years now. And it's just uh, the kids, uh, if, if you're about developing the kids and having fun and getting them excited, that's, that's what we're about. You know, my wife and I, we've coached many teams together. I've, uh, and just uh, enjoy getting out there and, and at least uh, giving them a good experience, uh, having fun, teaching them the fundamentals of whether it's basketball or soccer or baseball. It is really just it's a blast, and it's about how do we get them better. So Yeah, and you, and you came in here with, with Raceway and, and, and family-owned here, and you fell in love with Rockmore, kind of like I did. I moved here. I love it here. It's a great place to, to grow a family. And, uh, you know, and like I said, helping other people out. I coach them. You can't ask for better people than you guys, and I appreciate that. Well, thank you very much. It's, it's a pleasure, you know. We continue to do it and get excited. So. Clint, you've been with me. You've been with us about five years now with soccer, and that's great. A lot of problems said we can't do it without the volunteers, and we appreciate you and your wife both. What y'all done for not only the, the recreation department here, Rock Park, what you've done, you know, with your business and the community. What y'all done here, you don't only help us, you help anybody in, in all the sports teams. I've seen the high school girls up there uh, washing cars and things like that. Y'all have always been supportive of that. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you, guys. I mean, we appreciate being a part of the community. It's been a blast. This is our, our home, and we, uh, we just love it here. And, uh, so excited to be a part of the community in any way we can. So how hard is it to become a community coach and, coach and rec? It's not at all. You just got to come, sign up. We'll give your time, right? That's that's exactly right. You know, I actually one of my team members up at the raceway. I told him the other day, next year his son is old enough to play basketball, and I said, "Don't hold back." I know you may be nervous about it, and his response is, "Well, I never played organized basketball." I said, "I didn't either." Yeah, but I went out there and had fun, and you can still teach the kids all the basics, everything they need to know. Exactly. And he was, it, it, you could see the excitement already on his face. Like, that'd be pretty cool, Coach him all in fun and everything. Yeah. But, exactly. uh, but and, and that's, that's what it's about for us, for me, you know, Coach him all kids and, and the other kids. And 
I love them all. I, mean, I, I tell them every time, and we push them. And, uh, but uh, when I told him that and saw his face and how excited he was. Oh, money can't buy that. He, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. So. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate it, okay? Have a good Thank day, you. my friend. Have a good one. Back at the game now, tied up four to four. Emma Goodson brought the ball down court and scored for Brownlow's team. And uh, so right now with six on four left to go here in the first half, we've got a four to four ball game. Appreciate Coach Brock, his wife, from uh, their organization and everything they do here for Rock Bar. Yeah, we just had a shout out from California. All right. Yeah, Good we job. are. They're sitting here listening. They're, they're visiting with their son, their uh, case in, in the military. And um, they're not with ESPN, are they? They are not with ESPN, Jeff, okay. or they would have already We're looking for a better you. job here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, so glad to, to have you guys listening in. And, yes. Yeah, but this is fun. It's ties 4-4. Four, four. It's a great game. Um, you know, I don't know who's the tougher in, in this sport. Is it tougher on the girls or the volunteer coaches? I think the coaches, they look like they're in pain and agony. <laughs> <laughs> they want that ball to go in, yeah. but it just doesn't go in sometimes. Exactly. But we we couldn't do it without those. Though. They, they, our volunteers, Ainsley pulls up for a three. Comes off the side. We couldn't do it without the volunteer coaches. You're talking about many more teams that we have this year. All these young girls, and we want to keep them in the program. Uh, when we first started, we had to put the boys with girls together, and the girls just got beat up, and our girls yeah. started falling away. And so now we've got girl teams playing against girl teams. And it sure does have, of course, it made people like Riley Vasker a lot tougher than what they should be probably. <laughs> Yeah, but you're right. I mean, it's, it's it's done a lot of good things. And I remember when I first started years ago, we had to pull people on the stands. Oh, coach. yes, yes. And, and right now, we're not going to have to do that as much, thank goodness. Exactly. People are volunteering ahead of time, and it makes our program a lot better. Exactly. Maggie Garrett come down with the rebound again, coming back up the court is Emma Goodson. Emma Goodson over to number 24, Maddie Kate Forbes. Matty Kate takes a shot, rebounded by their own team. Down the defense, the team takes over, bringing it back up the court. Brownlow team setting up the defense. Peyton has the ball. Rolls up top to uh, Turner. Throws it to Hensley. She shoots. Gets her own rebound. Passes it into Wills. Um, over to uh, Gutterly, and then shot by Will goes in for two. Sorry about the salty pit. He came on. So, ball goes Hopefully we'll away. get kind of pride over here just a little bit, talk to him, Robert. Sure, sure. We have a bunch of subs going in real quick with three minutes, 50 seconds left to go in this half. They're changing out. That's the other thing they do here is they try to give as even play as they can for all these kids. It's not about winning or losing. It might be to these coaches. It might be to these kids. But to us, it's about the fundamentals that they learn so they can take this in life and want to have a shot to play basketball in high school or even in girls' college. Ball was going the other way. They have to travel. So, going back to the wheel team. Stolen. Now, Riley's bringing the ball down the court. She's dribbling, turns, looks. Passes the ball over to Bruno. Ball shot up by Wheeler. Smith. Rebound by the black team by number 53. He's got, about a, he's got about 10 rebounds already today, Robbie. Yes, she does. So, she shoots and misses. Outlet Wills gets the rebound for the team. Peek has got it against top key. Turns around to Rogers. She shoots the free throw line, misses. And Riley gets the rebound for the goal team. Riley looking for some help. Oh, no way, number 30. number 30 come in right behind her, just took the ball 
Riley didn't see her coming. Eight to four. Zoe Lynn Cheney, she she made that basket. So now coming up the court, the gold. Two minutes and thirty-four seconds left to go. Six to four. The visitors on the border are winning. Wills team. Coach Wills team. Stolen again by Wills. Passes the ball off to Rogers. She's dribbling over now. So oh, she won't. One or two or three too many steps. I, yeah. I couldn't count. Thank you. I think he called it at three. Yeah. So. I think that's where it was. Hey, there's Dante Jones. Hey, Dante. Grab a headset. So, go ahead and put it on there, Dante. Dante Jones is, is joining us here on the radio. Uh, you know, Dante's been a community coach. Long time. For here for us, for the rec center. And he also coaches over at the middle school and the high school. You do a little bit of everything. But, you know, when you have a 1,000 kids, you have to do things. But, now you don't have that many, but you've got a great bunch of kids that have grown up through this program. Tell a little bit about the, the rec program, how it's, it's, it's been for you. Well, the, rec, the rec's been pretty good for me because I, I, I'm from here. And I've been around a long time, and I and I've been around the kids, and I know I know most of them, so it's it's an easy job for me to come out and coach them, and and I mean I play ball with most of their parents, so never never really a task for me. It's it's more of a I feel like it's my it's my job to come out and help the Rick to give with, back, to yeah. give back to the to the program. And you do a, a great job, and like I said, we appreciate that too. We were talking about here a couple of years ago. It's hard; you had to pull people out of the stands. Now more people are volunteering, and that makes a big difference. Um, you know, if, if we get volunteers, they don't necessarily have to know the sport. They can learn it. We can show them uh, so we can get these kids to learn the fundamentals. That's what it's all about. Right. This league. Right. So, but you just came from your middle school game. How'd that go? Went pretty good. We, had, we actually beat Cedartown. So anytime you get an opportunity to beat Cedartown, you, you, I mean, it's, it's, it's special around here. We don't ever want to lose Cedartown. No, no. And now I just joined us. Hey, your buddy there. Titus, yeah, McBride's joining us here too. Titus, we're talking about the rec programs and what we're trying to do to build things up. You've been through the programs for a very long time as well, so tell us a little bit about your experience with the rec. Well, I've had a great experience with the rec. It's been very rewarding, uh, you know, getting to know these kids. Uh, it's just been a, it's been really fun. I enjoy it. It's uh, you know, you, people that want to volunteer, you think it's a lot of work, but once you get out here and really get involved, you, you really, you know, you know what you got going, and really, at the end of the day, you're the winner, not not the kids, because you get to experience the, the game, have fun with them, and practice, and get to know them, and you see them out in the community, they come up and give you a hug, so that's, that's the best part of it, I think. So. Yeah, you're exactly right. I can remember when I was growing up, and I would go to different towns with the restaurants working, and I would coach, and my wife would like, that's why I'm going to marry him, because he likes kids, but when these kids come back to you 10 or 15 years later and say, hey, coach, how you doing, and I don't recognize them. I mean, but they remember you because of the, the effort and the time you gave to them. That's what you guys are doing now, and we appreciate that. You're right. It's very rewarding. Yes, it is. It is. So, you know, you're going to continue on coaching. You do baseball. You do you do a little bit of everything, basketball. I'll tell you, you do football. You do, you do it all. So, but, you know, having more people come in this program, that's what we're looking for. And, and I'm sure you guys would help them, too. If anybody ever Absolutely. has questions, right. you'll, you'll give right. them the best. We were talking earlier about out here. I don't know who has the worst, the kids and the coaches. If you look at the coaches' faces, they're like, score, what's your score? But uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it, it is. And me and Dante, we've come together for years. And everybody says, you know, we're a glutton for punishment coming out here. And, uh, you know, we get criticized some. But at the end of the day, we, we got the best interest of the kids at heart. And we just do the best we can and try to try to get the program as a whole better. We're not – we're trying to grow our team. Obviously, we're playing to win because we're very competitive people. But we also want the whole program to grow because as we grow, the program grows, everybody wins. Right. We need to win. And I'm going to tell on you for a minute, too, because I had the same kind of experience in Villa Rica. I First year I started coaching there, I coached against a guy that was really good, had a good team. I said, you know what? I'm not going to beat him. So next year, guess what? I joined him. And uh, my kids, we joined together, and we coached, I think we coached 12 years together. Hey, you and, and Rex, and and that's that was a good bond that we had. And you guys have a good bond, and, and you make a lot of friends, not just with with kids, with their parents, and uh, it means a lot. Yeah, that that's the fun part about it. I mean, when you when you can come out and coach with your friends, and and I mean, you know people around the community. It, it's just like Titus said, it's rewarding 
to us to, to be able to, to come out and do that and, and get the kids better. Because a lot of times, you know, me and Titus, we, we coach, but a lot of times we don't pick the best kids or we don't have the best kids, but, but we still will come out and by the end of the year. I mean, everybody's better, and that's, that's the goal to it. That is the goal. You're exactly right. That's what I tell these new coaches. It's not what you look like at the beginning of the year. It's what you look like at the end of the year. If you teach them something, they're going to take that with them wherever they go. That's right. So. And I just told the kids in my last game, is you don't make in basketball, you may not can throw the ball high enough to reach the goal, but if you hustle and you listen, you're you're better than 80% of the people out there. And that's what we're trying to teach them. Is teach them fundamentals that they can take beyond basketball, baseball, football, soccer, whatever we're playing. We we want to teach a winning attitude in, in life. If you don't succeed, if you're not the uh, you know, Chipper Jones out here playing in the Hall of Fame, at least you can take something we've taught you on this basketball court that will take you further in life and take you some responsibility. You do your job, we teach you what to do, and hopefully if you listen and you do what we ask you to do, we'll be better as a team and as as a whole. So that's that's kind of our, our game plan, and we want to get everybody involved and, and, like I say, try to do the best we can. So. You're right, and you got a game next, right? We do. You're, you're actually playing against my son. My son's coaching for the first time, and, and he – grew up in the program with a rec program under me and he's trying to get back he doesn't have a kid playing in the program but he's trying to give back as well because he knows how it's meant to him so all i'm going to ask you to is take it easy on him tonight <laughs> he hasn't got a victory yet he's working hard the kids are working hard practice but you know i'm over here by the clock so if you hear the horn go off a couple times don't worry about that just uh get the ball to the other team <laughs> deal that's a deal yeah but now we thank you all very very much Thanks for coming on air. We kind of just stuck you to it, but uh, it's well worth it, guys. I mean, I'm having a blast working in the rec center, and Jeff Holsey is a great leader and, and trying to get more programs here and there. We'll see what comes. Who knows? But if we can get more more complexes out there, it's going to be better for all of us. But we got to have people like you guys to help us. We appreciate what you do. Thank you very much. Thank you. We're going to take a 30-second uh, timeout. We'll be right back. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039. 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. All right, we're back here at Rockmart Scoggins Hall, the old Rockmart High School gym here in Rockmart. Score 8 to 5 here at halftime of this ball game. Let me uh, give a shout out to Titus and uh, all the coaches uh, that Dante. Not only them, but their wives. I appreciate because the hours, Robert, that they put in, uh, taking time coaching this kid, uh, it, it, a lot goes into it. And I know back when I was coaching, uh, it was, sometimes it was hard. They, when I get in the car, uh, my wife, Lisa, she said, now leave that ball game there. And it's hard to do. You're, you're so worked up and you get involved in these kids and you just, just want them to do better and uh, be good, productive citizens, and they're doing that by volunteering their time. Well, you know, and, and it's like this job here, Jeff. I mean, we don't get paid the best in the world, but I'm going to tell you something. We make more money as far as the way the kids are and uh, right. in my heart than, you know, I love it. Oh, yeah. I mean, if they said you don't have a real job um, or something like that, it, it, something to that effect. If you love your job, it's worth it. Exactly. And, 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 and we love it. And, Robert, you see these kids, and, and this is what gets me. A lot of times, you know, you've been in it a long time. I've been in it a long time. You'll be out eating somewhere, and one of them will come up, and they'll, uh, hey, coach, you know, and you, you can't even remember their name, but you remember their faces. And they went, they went from being 10 years old to now they're 20 years old, got families of their own, and they don't ever forget you. Yes, yeah. yeah. And that's part of it, and that's that's a huge part of uh, of what we do and why we do it. So um, it's it's just if you haven't volunteered or if you've never done this before and you think you're shy, you don't need to be shy. You need to go ahead and, and come on and coach because and get your kids down here. Exactly. Get them away from those Nintendos for a little bit. You're going to see a different child. Oh yes, and I, I encourage you, play something. Play something. Uh, 
the day after Christmas, we, I was coming back from my mom's house in Petertown, and there was there was no kids outside, none. You know, back when we was growing up, be, by 7 o'clock, he was outside, shooting back the ball or something, none outside. We are joined by Wade Clemens right now, buddy, and uh, we're talking a little bit about rec and, and how we've come, and, and we're adding more things, and we're trying to add more things, but you have been a baseball coach for a long time. Yeah, now you've come on board with basketball. Pretty soon we'll have you in soccer before you know it. And uh, <laughs> But, you know, you're taking multi-teams. But just tell your experience about, you know, rec and, and coaching these kids and how much fun it really is and people that are thinking about it or uh, why they should do it. Oh, yeah, coaching's great, man. You get to make a difference in a kid's life. You you don't know what kids have, have at home, what they don't have, and just to go out and be a part of that and, and make a difference in their lives, that's that's it's great. The Clemens family, y'all been a part of the, not only the rec league, but little league and things like, not just you, but it just seems like there's a line of Clemens. That's, that's and, right. So we hope that passes on down to your your children uh, to just keep the tradition going. That's funny you said that. Me, me and my son Maddox had a conversation the other day about hopefully one day that he could coach his kids exactly. and, then, and then I could be his assistant, you know. There you go. He said, well, I don't know if I get you to, to, to shut your mouth long enough to be an assistant. I said, you're probably right. He, he's right about that because I'm the same way with Jordan when he when he does. That's why I try to sit over here. <laughs> Had a basket, man. Yeah, good shot. She pulled up the left side of the court there, number 21, Addison Shelton. Man, that's a, a tie ball game, 7-6, and the old team's winning right now. So, But anyway... Um, yeah, and, and the programs keep growing, and we got to have more coaches like yourself. But, you know, I, what I think is awesome, you know, like you told me, I've never coached basketball. I think you get in here, you're having a blast. Oh, and, and the yeah. kids are having a blast because they're, they're, they're representative of you, and they're having fun. Oh, yeah. My, so we played the other night, my, my, my uh, 9- and 10-year-old boys team, and we, we got beat, and so we, we got beat. On the scoreboard, pretty good, but as far as the game, we actually played really well. And, and my son told me after the game, he said, Davis, that, that's, that's the most fun I've had yet. And, we, you know, we, it was, we lost by about 15 points. But That's what we're looking for. That's exactly right. If they have fun, because you know as good as I do, Wade, if they're not having fun, they don't quit. Oh, yeah, at the end of the day, everybody wants to win, but having fun is the, is the key. Exactly. Seriously, at high school, you got to win. Sure. We ain't firing you if you lose every exactly. game. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. As long as you're teaching the kids something, and uh, that's what it's all about. And, uh, but, I, you know, I've always done I've always coached. I've always had a blast doing this. And that's just the way I was raised, and and, uh, and you give back, and that's what you're doing. And we very much appreciate it. But uh, any other things you want to talk about, about REC or anything else? No, I mean, I, I've enjoyed it a lot this year. Um, I I enjoyed it last year sitting from the stands, but I knew last year. It's blood, ain't it? Yeah, I, I, I had to get out here and help. And I was just only going to do one team, but, uh, you know, I knew uh, the, the boys didn't have enough either, so I told my son I'd, I'd coach him, and I took sure. the boys' team as well. And then I uh, also uh, signed up to coach girls' softball, so I'm looking forward to that. That's good. We're loving that, too, man. Oh, yeah. We get you whatever we can. That's right. But, you know, that's the other thing, too, is, is it's in your blood, and you're doing a great job, and uh, – we very, very much appreciate it. These kids, they're the ones that appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate the rec department putting in the time. I know they're spending a lot of, lot of hours out here getting fields ready, courts ready, here at night, closing up. And it's, We appreciate you all more than you know. Well, you know, we do it because we love it. I mean, it's so... Well, we couldn't do it without the volunteers. Nope. Oh, yeah. Just, we don't have that big of a staff to cover everything that we would like to do. But uh, without people like y'all, Wade, it, just, it wouldn't be possible. Well... So, it goes both ways, guys. Y'all do a great job. Thank you. Thank you very much, and hey, uh, you have a good day, my friend. You too. Thank you. Next time, yes, next, sir. Next time, 15 biscuits. 15 Remember, biscuits, yes, sir. We bought 14. <laughs> and, uh, I'll have you next time, I promise. Your wife's still yelling on that yeah, one. I know she did. I hear you. All right, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, you Wade. All right, so now it's 8 to 7. The guests have taken back over the lead by a shot by Rogers, so. We got five minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Um, shot up by um, Shelton is missed. Now rebound going the other way. Emma Goodson comes down with it. Emma's going to get it out to number 21. That's Addison Shelton. 
Shelton got it back up the court. She uh, she did a softball step there. And That's what it looked like. Threw it, but. Uh, that's part of the learning. She's never played this game before, but boy, she's a heck of an athlete. Now, I'm gonna tell you that Emma Goodson, just watching her bring the ball up the court, she looks like a guard. I mean, she, she's a heck of a ball player. She sure is. She's a heck of a kid in any sport she does. She gives 100 percent. Yes, that's all you have. Oh yeah. I'm not just saying that because, Mama, you're listening. I'm telling you, she is a heck of an athlete. It's, I've, I've been really impressed. I'll, I'll tell you another thing. Her other daughter. We're not going to mention her name because I'm not going to do it on the air, but played volleyball for me. She's right. the only girl that has ever broke her foot by running around the gym. Oh, my goodness. And, uh, just broke her foot just by running. Like a coaching. I, I don't know how you coach that, but it, that that was when uh, uh, a lady that was helping me coach, and, and uh, that was a bad, bad time. But uh, oh, her sister's not breaking nothing. 21 there. Tried to bring the ball at court. She, her feet got a little bit fast for her. Eight to seven, four thirty-nine left to go here in the third quarter. Brownlow versus Coach Willie. Brownlow's sitting over here going, "We got to get another score. We got to, we got to score." He's drawing up plays and and uh, calling out defenses now. Ball passed over to uh, Peak. Peak loses the ball, going the other way now. Throws it quickly up. To Shelton, she's running. Oh, she's going to double dribble. Still hadn't got that down yet, but uh, she will. Goes to the out of bounds of black. Ball's coming up the court. And stolen uh, by Shelton. Oh, good job there by that Shelton. That stolen again. Good takeaway there. Gets the ball out to the peak. They call it travel. Looks like Brownlow's going to make another wholesale change. He brings them out five at a time, don't he? He does. He does. He he wants the girls to play as much as they exactly. possibly can. Uh, so about every four minutes he swaps them out. He wants to win. But he wants them to play. Exactly. And they're having fun. Yeah. When you look over there and at the bench and the girls are having a, a good time. Riley Vasker, again, bringing the ball up the court. Riley bringing it up slowly, trying to set her offense up. Riley bringing the ball around to the right side of the wing here. Took away. Gets the ball in. Wills has it. Then she travels. Travels. They just haven't quite yet been able to stop that other foot from moving, Robert, when they get it in. Yeah, you just have one more step is what you take, and that's what happens. In the... So Riley's going to bring the ball got the ball in to Riley. Riley's going to bring the ball up court. Riley looking to set her offense up. Double team that time to the ball. Uh, Cheney, she's going coast to coast. She's going to put it up and get oh, fouled. She's fouled. She'll go to the line. She's two. Or eight to seven, three minutes and fourteen seconds left here in the third quarter of this nine to twelve year old girl division. This could put him up another point. Um, she makes the one of the two or two of them. We'll see here shortly. She dribbles, don't push the ball up. Oh, off the front of the rim. You can't get much closer than that without going. Sure can. She's got the ball now. She's getting ready for a second shot. Push it up. A little too high that time. Well, it's going to go the other way. Brown loads the team and bring the ball down the court. Shayla Brown loads going to uh, throw the ball in to Riley. Riley's bringing the ball up the court. Riley's got that intimidation factor when she comes across the court. Yes, Riley's looking for help. Riley's trying to get the ball across. Picks it up outside. 
Throws another way by Will. He's going to shoot it up at the free throw line. Misses it. 2.46 left to go here in the third quarter. 7 to 8 to 7. Your score. Miley again bringing the ball up the court. Looks like it's probably going to be a running clock the last quarter because they're running out of time. Riley brings it around the right side. Riley looking for some help. She looks outside. Oh, she throws the ball inside. She went in a little bit too far that time. Yeah, she just uh, tried to throw the girl took off the wrong way. So, now, Wills is going to sub out his subs and bring in some new players. Cassidy Bruno in the game for Brownlow's team. Setting them up on defense. Wills from the top of the key. Just up on the line, so it's a two-pointer, mate. But it's 10 to 7. Wills' is team. That's his daughter, the coach's daughter that made it. Riley bringing the ball back up the court. They know who the ball Riley is. Riley going to throw it up. Oh, just off the front of the rim. Bensley taking the ball Bensley down. Bringing the ball back down. Took away that down by number 40, Savannah Herring. Savannah Herring. Gets the ball took away here. Stolen by Rogers. They still just kind of want to fluff up. Yeah. They don't want to spread out a little exactly. bit. Exactly. Let's see whose ball is on the base. It's going to be Coach Wheels' team. They'll be inbounding the ball. Pop court on the floor. That's a good thing. We we encourage people to go to the contention stage. <laughs> yeah. Shot up by Rogers. Rebounded by uh, Cheney, but she knocks it out of bounds, so gonna go gold ball. Rogers bring the ball up to court. Dribbles around. Riley Vasquez got the ball. Oh, stole away there. Good pick. By Turner. Turner's going to the hole. Oh. Just the ball out. Rogers shoots a long two but misses it. Turner gets the rebound. Throws it back into Rogers. She's going to turn and throw it up. Ten feet away. Inside. Going to make it to 12 to 7. 50 seconds left to go in this third quarter. Then we'll start the next quarter with a running clock. Yes, Riley brings the ball back up court. Setting up her offense. Riley's going to dribble all the way in. Dribbles back out. Got a walk there. Yeah, kind of picked up a dribble and started dribbling again. It happens. Oh, yeah. And brings the ball in for Wills' team. Turner's dribbling down the top of the key. Turn around to Hayden. She drives to the hole. Just stolen away. Stolen away Bruno. there by number 14. That's Cassidy Bruno. Been stolen away again by Peyton. Yes. Oh, Bruno almost picked it off again. <laughs> 17 seconds left to go. Good hustle that time by Cassidy. The Brownlow team. Gets the ball in. Setting up looks like a 2 3 defense. Oh, ball goes off her foot. Here we go, ball. I think. Well, we're on black foot, but we'll, I mean, gold foot, but we'll see. Let's see here. Chris Uptight, the head official here. Yep, going off gold foot. So, black, I have it yep. under their own goal. Inside. Wilson shoots the ball, misses it. Bruno comes down with the rebound. That's the end of the third quarter with Coach Wills team leading 12 to 7. We're going to take a 30 second timeout. We'll be right back. WZOT Rockmart, W270CE Rome. 
Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039. 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. Hi, we're back here at the uh, rec center um, right across from, uh, um, well, the old high school it is, Scroggins Hall. And uh, going into the fourth quarter, the score is 12-7. Um, the black team, the Wills team, is winning over the Vegas Gold team. Of Brownlow. So we're going to have an eight minute running clock because we play an hour long here and sometimes we're going to go a little bit over, but uh, you have to be consistent. It's not about winning and losing here, Eric. It's about uh, getting playing time in. So I don't know nobody likes that, but uh, fortunately, you know, that's how it goes here. So brings the ball up, shoots the ball by. Shelton misses it, goes out of bounds to the other way to Wills' team. And like I said, Wills' team is wearing black jerseys, and Brownlow's team is wearing the gold jerseys. Uh, 12 to 7, the black jersey team. And coming down the court is Tate. She dribbles around to the side, looks inside, throws it into Wilson. And. And that's Rogers, excuse me, back to Peyton. Over to Will. She shoots, misses. Gets her own rebound, long rebound. Passes into Rogers. Up to the top to Peak. Throws it away to Shelton. Dribbling the other way. A long shot by um, Herring, Summer Herring just barely missed. So it's going the other way. 12 to 7. Peyton bring the ball up the court. I think Jeff Holsey went to the concession stand. That popcorn on the floor must have made him hungry. So Peek has the ball. The top of the key. She's going to shoot it. And nothing but air. So it's going out of bounds the other way. That's the other thing is you got the wonderful parents in the stands to tell them to shoot the ball. doesn't matter where they're at. Whenever they touch it, they tell them to shoot it. And watch how these kids do. Ball thrown away. He gets the rebound on the pass. Going the other way quickly with it. Peyton has it. Dribbling the top of the key. Throws it over to Wills. Wills tries to throw it inside to Rogers. And shoots and misses it. They throw it out. He gets still. Throws it underneath to Wills, and she scores two. It's 14 to 7. 5.45 left to go in this game. Ronald Seaton was in it for a while, just cannot get the ball down to score. Can't get it below the, the top of the key for some reason. Throws it over to Shelton, throws it back. It's stolen away by Peyton, and then it's stolen away again by Ford. Shot's going to go up, made by Summer Herring. So now it's 14 to 9. It's closer than, than that. It's a, it's a good game. Five minutes left to go in this competition. So Wills has the ball, passes the peak. He throws it to the side to number 53. Sorry about that, Robert. The concession stand was calling me. That's why I said you saw the popcorn <laughs> on the floor, so but you're, coming, you're coming back for cheese fries. I'm telling you, on your, if your wife's listening, you're getting cheese fries. I'm hungry. I wanted a hot dog. She said they're sold out. Well, you got 200 hot dogs in there and we're sold out. You got 48 of them sold out. So, but uh, timeout called by Wills. So we'll take a 30-second timeout and come right back. Get the cheese off just left. 
Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. Robert, both these teams have played hard. They've had fun. It's 14 to 9, close ball game. Four minutes and 40 good seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Alan Gibson's bringing the ball up the court now. They can't seem to get it down low. They're trying right now. Deep knocks it away out of bounds. So good defense by the black team. Yes, the coach Will's team, they're tall. He got some tall girls. He did. Maggie Garrett going to throw the ball in into Dixon. Dixon tries to get it back into Maggie. There's that hide again on that wheels thing. It's hard to get it over their head. Yeah, but she kind of caught it and backpedaled two or three steps. That's yeah. what Paul Traveling going back to Brownlow's team. Maggie Garrett going to throw the ball back into Dixon. Dixon trying to throw it away a fat time. Gets it in. They take a shot. Maggie Garrett goes up off her hand. It's a nice try, though. And Brownlow's going to... He's going to sub everybody once again. Yep. In goes everybody. 14 to 9. All right. We've got one of the main players on the ground low team. We've got Emma Goodson. Hey, Emma. You want to say hi to your, to your mama? She's out there listening. Yeah. Hey, yep. Mama. There you go. <laughs> Emma, you're having a great ball game. I'm really impressed. Thank you. How much, just, how much fun is this to you? It's really fun just to have your teammates and supporting you and just having a lot of fun out there. Yeah, it's, and you're, you work so hard at everything you do. We appreciate that, and you put a great effort into it. Thank you. And, uh, you know, I don't, you, you want to win every game, don't you? Even though you don't yeah. want to win, don't you? Yes, sir. So yep. what, what helps you win? Practice? Oh, yes, a lot of practice. Emma, you got four points today on the on the book. Your defense has been really great. You're bringing the ball up the court great. I told him you look like a natural point <laughs> guard you. out there. Thank you. Well, is this your first year playing basketball? Yes, sir. Well, wow. Let's not make it your last because exactly. you're very good at it. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'll let you go back to your bench. Thank you. All right. All right. Rebounding now by Coach Wills. Team. Oh, good pick by number 14. Cassidy Bruno picked the ball up. Knocked out of bounds by number 10, Riley Vasquez. So it's going to be Coach Will's team's ball. 2.20 left to go in this game. 16 to 9. Coach Will's team's winning. And you look across, Jeff, you see about over half of our seats are taken. Yes, sir. It's been a great Saturday for. Fans to come out and watch. So a rainy day outside, so it's a good day to be over here. That's, that's right. Kids. Bruno steals the ball. Then Peyton steals it from her. Then Riley steals it from her. I just can't keep up with it. Uh, there is. Riley's looking for somebody. Oh, <laughs> she decided I was just gonna dribble again. <laughs> yeah. So and the referee caught it. So that didn't happen. But. Uh, so we're going to go with a black ball right now. And five seconds. She never got it in. 16 to 9. One minute, 23 seconds. We have a running clock due to the time limit. All right. So we get the ball in with a minute, 13 left. Riley brings it across half court. Hensley tries to steal it. Riley's on the ground. She got the ball. She's not moving. She makes a pass over to Wheeler. Wheeler's got the ball. She's going to shoot it. Three. And the referee calls her her double dribble right in front of us. I could not believe I can't that. believe he called that right in front of us. But uh, his name is Chris Updike. And Damn. you can reach him at. <laughs> so. But, uh, no, they do a great job. Good too. call. Yeah, him and yeah. Jordan both do great. Jordan. Jordan actually played for us when the first moved here. 
Yeah. So, but uh, put your headset on real quick. Uh, you gotta you gotta go play. Never mind. But anyway, so we got 22 seconds left, and now one of the uh, Aaron girls got the ball. Going yeah, back and forth. Now the ball's going out of bounds with 10 seconds left to go. So. Here goes Riley across. It's a three, two, one. That's ball game. And that's gonna be the ball game, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna pull uh, the referee in here in a minute when he comes back. But they're going he's going to rest. So we're gonna take thirty seconds and hear from our sponsor. And we'll be right back. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. Here from Scoggins Hall, I think uh, Coach Storline is going to try to get Chris Updike to come in. Yeah, and, Chris uh, Updike's coming on. Come on. So, talk to us. Are you wanting to talk to him about that yeah, call? Yeah, that's true. He just made? That's true. Man, put him on Chris, the spot. Chris, come on. Chris, we only got two minutes. Next I'm talking about the program. Uh, Coach McBride that we talked to earlier, along with Coach Storline, this is Robert's son, 9 and 10 boys. Yeah, and Chris is. He's trying to drink his drink real quick. He's going to come join us here real quick. He's only got two minutes, so he won't talk long. But uh, anyway. All right, so we're going to get Jordan. Jordan's going to come on instead of Chris. So Jordan's one of our referees here. Jordan. Good to see Jordan Starnes. Jordan was one of our young boys. Moved in. Where did you move in here from, Jordan, when you was a kid? Well, I moved in here from Hickory, North Carolina. That's right. Jordan came in. His mom and dad at that time, Jesse and Jennifer Starnes, they were our bookkeeper and scorekeeper. Now this young lady sitting beside us doing the bookkeeping is your wife. Yes, sir. Well, that's pretty neat. And uh, Did you meet her here at one of these games? No, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to make sure you weren't doing that. I, I just want to know, how did you let your partner make this call right out here in this travel when she was trying to shoot three points? I mean, she clearly only walked three times before he called her. But uh, no, it's a uh, it's just a lot of fun, is it not? Yes, sir. I mean, you you're glutton for punishment by being out here wearing the black and white stripes because no matter what, you're gonna be wrong half the time. Exactly. Depends on who who's on the other team. But uh, we appreciate you and and you guys coming out here doing this. And, and this is more of you guys also instruct the kids as well. You're not just calling, you know, fouls and travels. You're you're actually helping them, right? Right. Correct. Yes, sir. So, tell me how you do that a little bit. Well, most of the time, if we see a mistake, we try to let the kids know what they do so that we try and improve their game to get them ready for later in life. Um, not only that, but also help their integrity and help their attitudes and help them just learn the game and uh, try and make the world a little better place. Well, and you came through the game, too. So, I mean, and you're just trying to give back as well. Right. That's what people did to you. They helped you as well. So, right. uh, most definitely. But, hey, we appreciate you. Appreciate what you do for the rec department. Thank you all for having us. Thank you, all right, buddy. Real soon we're going to have uh, Eric Bramlin is going to come in and join and take over my spot here and um, see what we can. He's going to talk about some different things with softball and everything else as well. But, you know, like I said, Jeff, we got a lot of good things going right now. Uh, exactly, Robert. I'm real proud of the rec department. It's really grown uh, in the last 15 years. It's come a long way. This is start up now a brand new ball game of a nine ten boys group. This is coached by Torline and McBride. We have McBride on over. I'll have to turn turn my mic down because Jordan's going to be loud over there. My son's going to be loud, so uh, <laughs> he's loud like his old man. You know, he'll be screaming the entire time. All right. And McBride's team gets the ball, but they're knocking it out of bounds. And Brown brought it up. Full court press already. Already. Wow, took away there. Oh, he stepped on the black line. Stepped on the base line. So 
And now they're trying to get open. Well, he was going to shoot the wrong goal, too. Um, yeah. Thank goodness he got called for a walk before it went in. So, long shot by McBride. Misses. Rebound by number four, Jones. Yeah. That's that's Dante's boy. We just talked to him yeah. about it as well. I'm so, gonna tell you, Dante, sorry, he is quick. I'm going to turn this over to a counterpart. Eric Rallo just coached the last ball game. He just lost the last ball game. We won't bring that up. Have a seat there, Mr. Eric. McBride's got the ball. He's going to put it up and pull back down, put back up. Number four steps on the baseline. All right, I'm more out, Jeff. I know you are. That's uh, Dante's son there, Cannon Jones. Now the scoreline team got the ball bringing back down the court. They started this game wide open. Yeah, so rest of the weary here. No. Put up there. Is that Dante's son again, number four? Cannon. Yeah. Cannon Jones. Eric White's coming up to the line. Tell us a little bit about the girls' softball side up we got going on. Okay, yeah. We got, we're about a week into it. We're already about 30 girls have signed up, so we want 250. Yes, that's our plan this year. 250, and we can do it. Yeah. You know, just get the word out. You know, softball's a great sport, and we need these girls to participate. Exactly. Cannon makes the first free throw. Second one's a little bit short. Score one to nothing. 518 left to go here in the first quarter. Gold team got the ball. Goes in finally overthrowed his man. Gets it out to McBride. McBride going to come up with it. Pulls up for a three. Oh, just off. Just a little bit short. Got a foul on 20. That Brax, he plays with his whole heart. He just pulls up and shoots. Good play there. Gold team got the ball trying to get it in bounds. He walked. That's right on the play. Yeah. He wasn't sure where to go with it. Yeah. They play it so fast and quick, they get turned around. Oh, yeah. This, this is a uh, top fuel, high speed. Pulled by McBride going the other way now. McBride going up the court with it. McBride going to pull up. He's off with the ball. Oh. You know he had a layup if he kept on going. Yeah, if he kept on going. Oh, oh. goodness. McBride with a three-pointer. Way to go, McBride. McBride coming in. They call a Walker foul. Foul push. Yeah. Drax come up the side with him there and kind of pushed him as he went out of bounds. Drax came up four to nothing with 425 left to go in the ball game. Now Drax throws the ball in, overthrows his man. Number three. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, jump ball. I don't have a number two on my roster. For, for who? On uh, four line stand. No. That's right. Kate yeah. Mahoney. Okay. Yeah, I think so. That's Marion Taylor coming in for a gold team. 405, let's go in first quarter. Four to zero. Save the strike. Strike's going to throw the ball in. He loses it on the out of bounds. We'll have a turnover. Or he calls the foul. Yeah, that's pretty much a tackle. Yeah. Wrong sport. Throws the ball outside. Going back the other way. Here we go. Fast break. Had it with a shot. Oh, called a foul. You'll get to shoot two. So Cannon gets to shoot two from the line. 
reported zero. For some reason, they're all out there breathing pretty heavy. I don't know why they would be doing that. That led up since the tip off. <laughs> First right. shot's up and in and out. No good. And the one luxury they, the few had, they don't have, they, they don't have five other subs. I think they're going to have to put it. That's true. By the fourth quarter, they'll be gasping for air. He misses the first shot. Cannon Jones comes up the free throw line again. Cannon going to put the ball up. Off the front of the rim again. Got a lane violation. Yep. No shot. Old ball got Niles and filled in for the goal team. Look for a man. Oh! Almost stolen, but he got it back. Dribble a little bit too fast. But Andrew, he hit his knee pretty hard. Yeah. Well, he's getting up. We're going to go ahead and take a 30 second timeout, right? Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039. 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. All right, we're back here at Scott Inns Hall, the City of Rockball Recreation Department. We've got a off the court track. The drive pulls up to number three. It's the goal chase race ball back to the shoulder by Cannon Jones that time. Cannon goes all the way in. Oh, it's the way up. Man. Back the other way now, going fast. Fast break, layup, no good. Rebound, 21 for gold, no good. Got a foul. Yeah, foul, somebody. Just over across the top. Wow, they play it wide open. I can't keep up with that. <laughs> I can't either. They tried to make my French fry. Yeah, I see that. They're not sharing those, I see that. They got cold. All the way out, all the way out. All right, so number 43, the gold team, Damari and Taylor, he's going to shoot two on the free throw line. Four to nothing, two minutes and 40 seconds left here in the first quarter. Have a hard time getting set up. Here we go. First shot on the way. Oh, off the side of the rim. Drax and Bragg going to bring the ball down the court. Oh. Travel. Oh. Yeah, they're learning how to dribble and stuff. Yeah, it's going to take time. Gold team trying to get the ball in. They get it inside. Get it back. There they go. Good pass. Oh. Put back up by number 21. He just lost it off his hands. Uh, time, out. Out. time out by Coach Shoreline. With that, Brian, we'll come back for another 30 second commercial break. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039. 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. All right, we're back here at Scoggins Hall, the City of Rockport Recreation Department. Once again, Eric, we've got girls softball side up. going on. What ages do we play? Yeah, we're doing 4 through 14. It has to be 14 prior to September 1st of 19. New age day. All right, Brax. McBride brings the ball back up the court repeatedly. Brax going to pull up for another three. And a good oh, five. That's six points for Brax McBride. He pulls up for two three-pointers and nails them. Seven nothing. Coach McBride sucks. Seven to nothing. Four line change trying to get the ball down the court. Oh, he's stolen that time. 
Got a foul. Got a foul on number 42. 43, I think. Taylor. Yeah, say that now. Seven to nothing. 48. Long. Gets the ball over up to Braxton here. He's feeling it. Oh, he's, he's going to pull up those three. Gold team bringing the ball up the court. Braxton Craig feels it. The Craig coming up the court with it. Shoots it again. Pulls it up. He's got the hot hand here early. Comes up good pass. Good pass. Good pass. Oh, it just comes off the front of the rim. Don't leave it drag. But a foul. Strictly. Drag and drag will try to get the ball in. Gets it in to Jones. Cannon bringing the ball up the court. A little slower pace. Hags are slowing it down that time. Bragg's going to pull oh, up. Three again. Oh, my goodness. In and out. That ball nearly went in again. Cannon comes in with a steal. I got it. So there we go. Got in front of us there. Don't hear it. Do I have to make a play? No, I'm going to get out of the way. <laughs> Cannon Jones comes up with it. He pulls up off the side. Got a man open. Look up. He's going to pack. Oh, he just overthrowed him. He pulled it in. He traveled. Travel. That's why the really have done that, but it's long yeah. control. Yeah, they just, he's got to learn to come down when he gets control of the ball. He comes to play it. Coming down the court now. Watch Huma gets it out to Braxton Bright. He's going to pull up for a three again. Three, four. And no shot. Up back. Three no seconds. shot. Three second violation. How? You just got down there and shot. I don't I don't see. Hey. Three seconds. Never quick. happened around oh. here. <laughs> oh, King, King Jones stole it. The inbound pass put it up to two. We'll make the score nine to nothing as we're closing out the end of the first quarter. 29 seconds left. We're getting the end. Got five seconds. Got five, oh, five second violation. White ball. See number 31. Jordan Ortega's going to bring it in. Oh, he throws it in to Jones. Jones, gonna, where's he going? He's going the wrong way. Oh, he just realized it. That's all right. He's excited. Yeah. That's all right. He's just going up the other team there. They saw wide open court. Exactly. He's wide open. I'm running. <laughs> the goal brings the ball in. Oh, Jordan throws it across the court. Walk down to 10 seconds. We've got to shoot it. Good shot. Just missed it. Coming back up. He's looking up, bringing the ball up. Stole away. He's not going to get the ball off. Well, that's going to be the first quarter. With the score for Pride, nine, goal line, zero. With that, we'll go back to the radio station for a 60-second commercial break. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. Here's a real tweet from a real Chick-fil-A guest. Hoover Zach writes, I kind of want to have a party for no other reason than to get Chick-fil-A catering. We hear you, Zach. And not that you need a reason, but there's always birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, Tuesdays. The list goes on because it's the little things that bring out the party, like nuggets, strips, salads, cookies. You get the idea. Tweet your stories at Chick-fil-A with hashtag the little things. All right, we're back here live at the Recreation Department in Rock Park. 
Goldtank will have the ball stolen that time by number 20. Real foul, number 22, uh, Jaden Price. Mason Williams had the ball that time, brought it in, got fouled. He'll go to the line. Was it a shoot foul? I guess the yeah, two yeah. shots. Yeah, so Mason Williams will be going to the line to shoot two. Let's see if we can do this by kind of violation. Oh, Mason takes the time, puts the ball up. Off the front of the room. Mason comes up the line again. Two shots. He puts it up. Oh, off the side. Rebounded by their own teammate. Number 43 of the goal today, bringing the ball down the court. A lot of control, a lot of control. He's going way too fast coming down through there. Except for the line. So going back to the Bryce team. Mason Williams bringing the ball into the Bryce. On top of the key. One for three again, and shots up, no good. It's not for lack of trying. Exactly. Mason going to throw the ball in. He gets to McBride. McBride pulls up again. Good shot. Two pointer. Is that a two pointer? Two pointer. Wow. Just had his foot on the line. Yeah. I bet he didn't realize it. McBride got the hot hand today. Well, that makes it 11 to 0. Five seconds. Jack gets the ball in. Four or five seconds. They're going to call out. Get a turnover. McBride got eight of the 11 points. So he's going with a hot hand. I'd be putting two on him. We have an official timeout here. Let's see what they're discussing. Mason Williams going to try to throw the ball in. Mason's looking. Goes out to McBride, right yeah, up for a three point again. Yeah. Yeah. Forty three puts the ball up. Well, it's only shot the ball, that's good. McBride seen back with the ball, coming across half court now. Looking for McBride, here we go. And nope, he didn't shoot this time. He traveled. Wow. I would have done been fell out by now as fast as these kids are playing. Well, you're not you're not seven anymore. No, eight, nine, four, nine, eight. Yeah. Right to the side shoe. There he goes. He must have heard me. <laughs> Mason Williams gonna throw the ball in. Mason gonna get it over to Brack. Brack playing the ball at the court. Brack, and, uh, oh, he, he wanted about it. to. He thought he, about it. Oh, he wanted to. He wanted to pull that ball up. Uh, Travel. Scoreline team will have the ball. Brack got that three-point fever today. Well, for half of them to win, might as well keep doing it. Exactly. The old team's going to rush the ball up court. Good pass. Try to get it inside, get the ball up. Put back up, good shot. Oh, he traveled, but they didn't call it. That's okay. That's all right. We've got ball on the ground. Everybody's going for it. Oh, chaos on the court. Yeah. Well, he's going to call a foul. It's a foul on Mason Williams. He'll we'll probably call a foul every time he wanted, wanted to. But probably could. It's like a holding call on right. a defense offensive lineman. Right. Football. All right. Goldtain's going to the line, number 43. That is Jamari and Taylor. So I guess we're an opponent. So what, he wasn't shooting. Yeah. Well, first shot on the way. And it is up. Oh, yeah. offside. We missed the first shot. Bragg going to bring the ball up court. Bragg going to put it up. And offside there. Mason Williams puts the ball up and in. Two points for Mason. So it makes it 13 to 0. 13 to 0. Mason picks the ball off. Mason trying to get it to the inside there. Back out to Mason. Mason puts it up. Gold team comes down with a rebound. Just a lot of back and forth going on right now. Yeah, it's kind of hard to call that. Yeah, you 
play a soccer a plus basketball. Chaos. Three minutes and 55 seconds to go at halftime. So Toulon has two number 43s. So everyone has to play with this one. Uh, they're both on the court. This is like eight on the court for him. I don't know what. I mean, technically, that's a technical foul, but it's not going to matter today. No, I will. I'll talk to Robert about it. How they got eight point three on Saturday. Mason with a shot from the drive team, no good. One of the four threes brought it down. Fifteen coming up. Oh, good stop that time. Oh, Bobby, right. Here we go. Throws it up again, no good. Partially blocked, I think. Wow. Yeah, that was strictly. He blocked that ball out of bounds. Yeah. We black Mason ball. Williams will throw the ball into McBride. He's going to pull it up. Hunter. Yeah, he's getting tired, apparently. Yeah. We'll come up a little bit short now. Good rebound. Oh, stole it back. Another three pointer. Mason Williams with a rebound. Puts it back up and good. Good shot that time by Mason. Coming back down by Torn, I think, here. Got some subs coming in for McBride's team. So, with 3 12 left in the first half, it's 15 to 0 in favor of McBride's team. Jones with the ball top of the key. Drills inside. All to the goal and no good. Almost a good layup. He just missed it. Fast break the other way. Number 22 with the ball. He goes up and missed the layup. And off the black. Should be goal ball. We just racked the crowd over here at halftime. Talked to him. Got all this three. That's 21 for goal. We'll bring it in. To the number 43, which you don't know which one he is. Go down. Put it back up. Oh. Ooh. Tough call there. That is, especially when you fall <laughs> head on the court. So we got travel going the other way. One thing about it, they're hustling. They're not slowing down. They are. They're trying. Yeah. They're playing hard. Playing hard. Got Jones with the ball for the Bryce team. Top of the key, call play. Pass to the left side of the key, and he's going to carry the ball. Yeah, you can't palm the ball like that, but he got to dribble it. So it's going to be gold ball. 21 bringing it in. Number 43. He's on double dribble, so. Number one back. The black ball. In ball the bounce, in ball the ball to Jones. He's taking this time. Top of the key, looking at the left side of the key. Tough shot, no good. Going back the other direction now. And Roberts on the way. Here we go. And the backboard violation. All right, we got Brax. Got Brad with us. Brad with us. Can you hear me, Brad? All right. We'll talk to Brad. We got one minute and fifty eight seconds left to go. I hope your dad. He's probably looking down. And maybe he'll let you sit over here for just a little bit. Is that okay? All right. So it's going to be gold ball. Number twenty one. Strictly going to bring it in. Confusion there on that ball. Okay, here we go. Back to play. 43 with the ball. Ball pass inside. Stole by Black Team. The Bryce Team going another way. That Jones with the ball going to bring it up court. Passing half court now. So a tall play. Inside the middle, all the way up. He walks and don't call it. Wall puts it back up. Rebound by number two, Caden Mahoney. It's up and good. 17-0. One minute, 25 seconds left to go in the half. And layup, number 22, Jaden Price. Good shot. 17 to One minute, 15 seconds left to go here until halftime. 
And Miles knocks away, picks it up around number two. Stolen by Joel. Going back the other way. 43 has the ball. Inside. The pass inside. Shots up. And no good. Barely missed it. Off the front of the rim. Top of the key. Back over left side of the key. Another shot. And is in and out. Rebound by number 31. Jordan Ortega. Gives the ball to Jones. Up the court. He passes to the right side of the wing. Wild shot. No good. Try to save it underneath, but it goes back to gold. Don't wear me out. <laughs> First game got me. 17 to 2. Number 22 breaks it back up the court. Oh! Lost control of it. He had it going up. I saw a dunk going to happen. Yeah, I saw I, it. I, he was coming. He was leaning in towards the goal. Get off, get off his knee. Number two. Kate Mahoney. Mahoney gets it into Jones. Jones brings it up the court. Jones looking for an open man. He only drives across the lane. Good pick by the defense that time. Get the ball up, turn it around, look up. Pass it up to him. Pass it, pass. There you go. Oh. He just kind of rushed it just a little bit. So just taking his time. Five point three seconds left. Here at the halftime. Just make them understand to slow down a little bit. Just slow Catch down. the ball first. Catch the ball first and then make your move. They want to automatically catch you and just start shooting. They want to catch, shoot, run, yeah. pull all at the same time. It's not working. Are you learning a lot by being right here, Brad? You got to speak. Uh, not really. <laughs> We're not very smart, Jeff. <laughs> well, he knows it all. He does. So we got Jones going to shoot one Two. and one. So if he makes the first, he'll get the second shot. Shot is up and it's air ball, so it won't count. So no shot. 17 to 2. Coach McBride set him in the lead here. And with the ball, good steal that time by McBride's team. Good shot by Jones. Rimmed out. That's going to bring us to halftime. We've got... We got Braxton McBride with us. Is that right, Brax? Yeah. I get you and your brothers all names all. I may holler Caden or and it, you know tell one of them to holler. But uh you come out with a hot hand today. We're not only three pointers. Who you just automatically just started shooting that thing, didn't you? No, I do it in practice a lot because like we practice on threes and stuff. Uh huh. We practice on threes and stuff. Well, that's we good. Well, that's good. Well, you nailed the first two of them. You got. Eight points uh, so far today. Uh, are you having fun? Yeah. Uh, now, you play multiple sports, too. You play soccer, too, right? Uh, last year, I played football. You play football? Okay. Your brother plays soccer, right? Yeah. It's hard. I don't say mom and daddy keep up with it, because I can't keep up with it. But uh, we, do you enjoy playing basketball? Yeah. Well, good deal. How many years have you been playing now? Mm, since I was four. So. That's right. Now, was you on my team when you was four, or was that your brother? Uh, when I was five. When you was five. Can you, can you kind of let people out in Radio Land know that I was probably the best coach you ever had? Oh, my goodness. No, I'm not. Be honest I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Your dad's standing over there. <laughs> I appreciate you, but I want to make sure you are having fun, right? Yeah. Would you tell all the other kids out there listening that they ought to get involved, play sports? Mm-hmm. Good deal. Well, you keep it up. Your grade's going good at school? Okay. I wouldn't be. Uh, well, I wouldn't be. We'll take that. We'll, we'll take that. All right. Good to talk to you, okay? Good job, have a, We hope you have a good second half. Time, buddy. You got a hot hand that first half. Go bring your team on in, okay? Okay. Thanks. Good luck, buddy. All right. This time we're going to send it back to the station. Two minutes. For two minutes. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. 
Hey folks, this is your old buddy Bill Sherfsey here at All Star Motors. We're stacking them deep and selling them cheap. We have available financing for every credit need, including our new Buy Here, Pay Here program. You can check us out on the web at www.allstarmotorco.com or call 770-684-CARS. That's 770-684-2277. Or better yet, just come see the friendly folks at All Star Motors and go Jacket. Rockmart Rent to Own invites you to come by and see our brand new showroom. We have added lots of square footage and filled it up with furniture lines like Ashley, United, Lane, and Simmons with new merchandise arriving every day. Be sure to come by and see Scooter and the whole crew. Mattress specials every week. And of course, we also have appliance deals for every need. We also have the best propane prices in Polk County. We are open Monday and Tuesday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Closed on Wednesday. Open Thursday and Friday from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Close on Sunday. Call 770-684-5314. Located at 966 Sears on the Highway, Rockmart. Our kitchen is where our life happens. It's the heart of our home. It wasn't always perfect, but now it is, thanks to a home equity line of credit from family. I just love my kitchen. Use the equity in your house to love your home with Family Savings Credit Union. Visit FamilySavingsCU.com. This is Ryan Robinson, branch manager of your local Family Savings Credit Union. Come by and visit us sometime, 101 Felton Drive, Rockmark, Georgia, 770-684-8601. Equal housing opportunity member NCUA, NMLS number 800746. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. Back up and no good. 
Short and Wayne back up again, no good. Referee got out of the way I can see. <laughs> well, he's about seven foot tall. That's right. <laughs> Coming back up the court now. Four line team. Four line gets the ball inside. Oh, he had the shot. He took it. <laughs> yes. He had the shot. I thought he was going to pull it back down. Nice little spin move. Yes. Thanks for the goal. Four to four. So Jones now with the ball, top of the key. Pass nice inside. Pass inside. That's a tough pass, right? It's yeah. It's hard to catch those. So the black team turns it over, going back to goal. One of the 43 is bringing it down the court. Yeah, forgive us not knowing who's who. I would say his name, but it'd be wrong one. Yeah. Both of them on the court at the same time. Nice little travel. Out of travel. He tried to pass it, decided not, not going to pass it. By that time, he's walking. Yeah, Williams going to bring the ball in, get it into Jones. Jones going to come down and set his offense up. Send the ball down the court. Jones called the play. McBride going to bring it in. Oh, he took too many steps. Apparently, the play was he's shooting McBride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the ball. You shoot it. Yeah. Wherever. Three points. Whoever you may be. <laughs> I think it's Danny County ball. Maybe so. Oh, we got trapped here at half court. Oh, the oh, bus it. broke it. Shoot it. Ball flopped. Oh, I just shot. He didn't, he didn't see it. Ball's up. No good. Rebound by Black Team McBride. Going the other way with Jones. I think Jones having a good time out there. I think he is, too. <laughs> Look, he's so quick. McBride with another Look, shot. There's a three. And it's good. Ooh. Yes, he did. That's four. He's got the hot hand today. So it makes it 27 to 4. Good shot. Good pass inside. He just couldn't catch it. Man, he's wide open. Yeah. He's got to catch it. They just, they're in too big of a hurry. Jones bringing the ball back up court. This is what play they call here. Going over McBride. McBride right for three. And he's going and to it. Long. I, Mitch, can you believe that? I take him out. I guarantee you, I pull him. Good grace. 27 to 4. One minute and 45 seconds left to go in the third quarter. So we'll get it. Come on, McBride. Here we go. Down the court again. He stops the shoot. So we need him to travel. Travel. Yeah, he traveled. McBride looks over his dad and said, What happened? Well, if know who I am, they, he don't realize. He used to be outside that three point right. line. That's right. So they're setting up the defense up the top of the line here. They're going to break it, get it inside. He got a man open to do it. Good going to look up. He's going to take his step. Good pass. Oh, inside. Good oh. play. Number two. Pull up with it. Missed. Missed. Went out of bounds. Kate Mahoney had two rebounds. He sure did. Missed both shots, though. That's close. He's a tall young man. We've got a sub coming into the game. Oh, coming in. Coming in for number 21, Sean Trickney. The drive's wide open for the three. Again. And it, oh, and he leaned out that time. I pull him. <laughs> That's two. He's missed. Good shot by Mahoney. Two more rebounds by Mahoney. This both shots again. Get three seconds to some point. There we go. Yes, sir. Can't stop the lane. Yeah. Twenty-seven to four. Four here. Shot is tall and drop on it. Here at Will Blinker I'm, you'll be calling a lot of these kids to high school level in snow time. Oh, I know. Speaking of which, those kids are playing great. They sure are. A lot of those kids play here in the rec court. They Absolutely. Can't sure it is. Oh, he traveled. Oh, good shot and good. Foul. He's going to shoot. Get 
Shannon Jones with a layup. Makes the shot and one. Here we go for the and one shot. It's an awesome quick. drive. He is quick. He's one of those three sport athletes, I believe. Plays a little bit of all of them. Comes up to the free throw line, goes shoot. Another guy tied shoot for a flat tire. Yep. Twenty nine to four. Here at the City of Rockmart Recreation Department. We hope you've enjoyed recreation basketball today. Be sure to let folks know that you did. He misses his shot off the knee of Jones. I don't see the first one there. That's how quick he is. I'm telling you. All right, goal team. Goal team brings the ball up. He just clings it across. Williams takes the ball. Good drive and comes up and loses it. Just kind of ahead of his thing. Jordan, look at the ball. Jordan, look at the ball. He's going to have the going to pull it up. He traveled first. He traveled. Can't believe it. He can't believe it. So go back with the ball coming up right down the court. Like another half-court trap here. They break it pretty good. Get the ball inside. Here comes the shot. Oh, it's blocked by Mason Williams. The drive with the ball going back the other way. Fast as possibly go. Oh, and he stopped. All the way to the goal, but he's going to travel, I think. Yeah. yeah. He gets to going in. His little feet just can't stop. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. He still the ball at the end of the quarter. That's the end of three from the city of Rockmart, 29 to four. We'll go back to the station for a 30 second break. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. Back here live at the Rockport Rex Department, score 29 to 4 as we're going into the fourth quarter. Referee over arguing with me. That's not going to hit well for him. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what the deal on that was. <laughs> Are we running or not running? We're not running, apparently. Okay. We ain't going to start it, I don't think. <laughs> okay, here we go. The goal with a rebound, a wild shot. Come back the other direction now. He, top of the key. He's trying to trap him, but he gets through it pretty good. Pass off to the left side. Inside, good pass. Oh, got it. Oh, it just rimmed out. That's a good pass. Good pass. Number 15 goes try to bring the ball up court. He picks it up to get it to the end. Good call. That's another way. Here we go. Good pass. Oh, good pass. Push it up. Push it out. Oh, Here yeah. it is. Good play. We'd like to thank WZOT for bringing you recreation basketball today. Randy Robinson out of City Town for sponsoring today's broadcast. Oh, foul on number 15, Alexander. Number 43. Shoot the ball. And, uh, First one's up, and it's good. It's good. Thank you, Hope. Twenty-nine to five now. Five twenty-two left to go. Fourth quarter. Second shot is up and no good. Rebound in the middle. Oh, rebound. Uh, up down by number sixteen. Son Alexander. Going back. Back. Oh, good pass. Just a layup. Oh, oh, no. He traveled. Oh, oh, my goodness. Good good play. This just comes with experience. They'll get it. Good hustle. 
They probably can bring Bray's ball back down the court. They're passing the ball well. Oh, yeah. It's just, not, just not connected. Yeah. They want to shoot before they make it another move. And in for the goal, and it's up and good. Up and 15. He's proud of himself. It's Flavian Alexander. Two points for him. Good shot today. All right. Half court trap. See how they do this now. We bust right through it. Up, oh, up, oh, up, 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 don't brag on too much. They're gonna That's his first one today. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I like to Slow down there, buddy. They just get it. Oh, we gotta catch it. Oh, it rims out. Put it back up. Rebound. Stolen back by Black Team. Okay. On the ground. Push it away. Number 15. Gonna try to push the ball back up the court. Looking down as he dribbles, a little double dribble. Yeah, a ball handling camp. Skill level camp. Okay. Don't forget if you're out there and you've got a young lady like to play girls' fast pitch softball, y'all both got to sign up to join on now every day here at the City of Rock Park next month. Here at the gym every day, Monday through Friday, and on Saturday during basketball time. Come sign those girls up. Get them involved in a sport, get them involved in something. Get them something to do other than just stay at home, staying in the room on the street. Three minutes and 49 seconds left in this ball game. The drive seems to have it up in hand, 33 to 5. Good shot there. By number two. Going, the ball pushing all to the all to the zone and it's blocked by Jones. Ooh, another wild shot. Rebound with 21 goal. Now Black still going another direction now. Running up the court. He about lost the dribble, but got it back. Looking for somebody to throw it to. In the middle. Up and good. Good shot by Alexander. Score is now 35 to 5 with 2.56 left to go in the game. All right, we've got uh, Cannon Jones with us. How are you doing, Cannon? Good. Had a good game today. You having fun out there, buddy? You having fun out there? Yes, sir. Oh, uh, how many sports do you play? I know you play baseball. You play, I play foot- three. You play football too? Yes, sir. All right, which one do you like to play? Like all of them? Yes, sir. Right here. Well, I'm going to tell you, I've seen you both play baseball and uh, basketball, and you're, you're one of the fastest kids I've ever seen. Do you, do you run around at home like that? No, sir. <laughs> well, are you having fun today, though, when you play? Yes, sir. Well, good deal. All right, well, Ken, any other little kids out there listening, would you tell them to encourage them to, hey, play something, whether it be baseball, football, or basketball? Wouldn't you do that? Yes, yeah, it's fun, ain't it? Yes, it is. All right, well, Cannon, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, okay? Yes, sir. All right, we're back right here. Got to go on the free throw line. So we got a foul. First one's up and good. Going for the second shot now. A few subs coming in for four lines team. Number 23, Braden Jones comes in. And Jaden Price comes out. 35 to 6. 234 left here in the fourth quarter. First free throw was up and good. Here comes the second one. It's up, and it's off the rim. No good. Rebound by 21. and knocks it out. Number 24 coming in. He's letting, know, he's letting somebody know to come out. <laughs> you got to take charge, Jeff. I know what he did. 35 to 6. Two and a half minutes left to go in the game. Oh, he loses it. Picked up at that ball, and he lost the ball. They both. <laughs> Same team fighting for it. Same team. It's all right. 
That's the other way. Now he passes in the middle. Good oh, pass good away. Play. Shots up a good, has a good play. Two points by Jordan Ortega. Makes it 37-6. One minute, 59 seconds. Let's go in this. Once again, we appreciate the spot for the day. Provide an opportunity to hear those little kids play on the radio today. One minute, 42 seconds left to go in the ball game. Yeah, he steps out of bounds. So going back to the Bride team, 15, Alexander with the ball. Inside, good shot up and good. Good shot. Number two, Dave Mahoney. Next 39 to 6. Minute and a half left to play. If you've been enjoying the ball game, been on the radio today, make sure to call that radio station. We thank Brian sitting down there today. That's the crowd. Much to do. 21 to rebound for the goal team. Goes back up and gets fouled with two shots. Foul number 41 black. It doesn't exist, so another great call by our ref. First shot's up and no good. Close. Second shot on the way up and off the bat for no good. And got a lane violation, so it didn't count anyway. So going back to the prize team. Bring the ball in to number 15, Alexander. Inside again. Good block that time. Going back the other way. Oh. Good defense. Long free ball. Oh, off the rim. No good. 60 seconds left. Still on this one. Going back the other way. Back oh, the break. Here we go. Oh, I thought it was back out. in. Oh, three against one. Good call. <laughs> Uh-oh. Number 15, got it. Oh. About oh, three seconds. 33 seconds left to go on this one. Gold has the ball. Bring it back to the court. The rubber's back with us. With 30 seconds left to go. Oh, yeah. Jeff had to go. His boss is calling his wife. Four balls. Oh, got foul. It's a good clean block. 14 seconds left. Well, four or three gold black are foul, but I don't believe here, here's the thing. The score is, is ugly, 39-6. But I will tell you, to be quite honest, watching this, this team from the very beginning till now, uh, if, if McBride wouldn't have pressed them the way they were, they're passing the ball. They're, right. they're dribbling better. They're, they've learned a lot. And um, that's part of it. No one wants to get beat like this. But they are learning. So a couple more games, I think they'll be back into it. Oh, yeah, they, they had a lot of open shots down low. Just lost control of the ball. Didn't make the shot. I mean, they broke the press. Great. Jeff Holsey's got to go to the bathroom, so he's leaving. So Thanks for announcing that one. Yeah. So, but anyway, it's been fun, and uh, it's been great, Eric. And I know you got to talk about a lot of that stuff, too. And But it's a fun job, isn't it? Oh, best job ever. Yeah. So, I wouldn't call it a job, really. And we talked about that earlier, too. You can talk about sports and coach sports for a living. Yeah, it's fun. Work with kids all day. So we've got a little stole here still. Eight and a half seconds left to go. We want to thank our sponsor, uh, Robinson Muffler, for uh, for doing this. And, and everybody else, like Brent Owen down there, Billy, some big supporter of us as well. And, you know, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And uh, thanks to all the parents and coaches. Oh, yeah. Comes out and helps these kids out, brings them up here, signs them up, and 
even if you don't have a child, if you want to coach, come talk to us. We'd love to have you support. So. And that's the ball game. Final score, 39 to 6. But it's a lot closer than that, in my opinion. Yeah. But anyway, Eric, I think we're going to go here and send it back to Brian. And, and you all stay warm this weekend because it's going to be cold starting tonight. So uh, get the place warm. Thanks for listening. Y'all have a good day. Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop, located at 1009 North Main Street in Cedartown, specializes in automotive repair, including exhaust, alignment, tires, and wheels. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., closed Saturday and Sunday. Give them a call today, 770-748-8039, 770-748-8039. You can also visit them on Facebook at Robinson's Welding and Muffler Shop. (music) 